calm, I can't help. 180, I'll turn back, send the Addy in the car. What's going on guys, it's Sudex here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys some basic effects that you can guys use on your phone in montages. I made them poll on Twitter about what uh, tutorial should make next, and the basic effects one one. So here I am today, making it. First of all, I've made this edit like real quick, and yeah, I will guys show you. There is nothing, just basic sync, and yeah. So as you guys saw, there are no effects, just basic sync and sound effects. Alright, the first effect that I'm going to show, it's called black and white. It's a very good effect to put right before the shot, to add a, a bit of impact. So what I would usually do is split the part before the shot and add the 25% one. Uh, there is nothing really going on right now. So you have to put the blend amount on zero at first, click the animate button and then go about here, move the first keyframe, like... Oh, around here and then go like uh, like two frames before the shot I guess and add the blend amount to like seven seven hundred six hundred and it should look something like this and that's some nice impact uh, you can add a smooth fade by right clicking on the first keyframe and uh, selecting the smooth or you can guys mess around with other fades but smooth is probably my favorite one. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty nice to me. And that's how I use black and white. You can obviously mess around even more if you want more black and white so there's no color. You add even more impact. But yeah, that's like what I would usually do on an edit. Uh, the next effect that I'm going to go over, it's called BCC Lens Blur. It's a very good effect to put on the shots or even important parts of the edit. For example, I can add the preset uh, that I've made. You can guys copy the settings. Uh, the iris scale is on 3. The scale X and Y is on 100. And the gamma is on 1000. You can guys mess around even more with the settings. I have it on 16 side. You can change the shading if you want. So, I got the beginning. See, it's a bit blurry. That's the effect that the lens blur gives. I go about like couple frames in, click the animate button and put it on zero. And then I'll pre-render, see how it looks. Looks pretty nice to me. And uh, you can even put it on the shot, that's why I've named it Shot Blur, because it looks very nice on the shot. I would usually go like before this blue thingy, for the opacities, that shows me where the middle is, the middle of the clip. So I'll go like four frames before that blue marker or whatever you wanna call this and put this on zero you can maybe give it a nice fast fade so it fades out fast and let's see how that looks looks pretty nice to me the next thing I wanna show is called SA it's a very good effect to use on shots or even squall wipes or like something else on your edits I usually put it on the shot so I just drag the preset that I've made on the shot I go like a couple frames before the blue thing again and uh, these are my settings so you guys can copy them feel free to copy them you can just pause the video and uh, copy the settings and once you copy them you just click up here save preset and you just rename it like tilt shake shot or whatever so I go like like four frames before the blue marker I animate the amplitude and uh, put this to zero and it just gives a pretty nice shake on the shot you can even give it a nice fade like a smooth fade would be it looks really nice or you can just leave it uh, on uh, linear. It's all personal preference. The next thing I'm going to show is called S Flicker. It's a pretty good effect to use on your shots or even other parts of the edit. So I will just drag the flicker in. You guys can copy my settings again. So you get the same effect. Then I just put the amplitude on zero. And uh, maybe uh, here. Then we can give a nice smooth fade. And let's see how that looks. So just flickers like uh, here. You guys can see if that's too much for you you can lower all these settings a bit and see what works the best for you but for this looks pretty nice 
Alright, for the next effect, I'm going to use BCC Mixed Color. It's a pretty good effect, in my opinion, to use it on Swords or either other parts of the edit. So, yeah, I'll drag the tutorial preset that I've made, I'll drag it on the shot. And here, you guys can copy my settings again. So, what I would usually do is higher the opacity a bit so we can see the colors. Not that much, that's a lot. Like, we want around uh, here. Then I will animate it and go like towards the end, like around here, and put the opacity to zero. Around like five, should be good. Then go on the first keyframe of the BCC Mix Colors and change it to Smooth Fade. And let's see how it looks. In my opinion, I feel it just uh, fades out way too fast. So what I would do is get the first keyframe and drag it to the right. So the whole time here is on 63% opacity or 63 opacity. Then once it hits this keyframe, it goes down to five. And let's see how this looks. Um, looks uh, <clears throat> that looks way better in my opinion. Another thing you can do on the BC Mix Colors effect is uh, animate the mutation. What this will do is uh, change the colors, like uh, you guys will see here. It just changes the colors. So what I would usually do is go at the end and change this to 3.5. Like you guys can see here that it changes colors very nicely. Um, what I think I should do is lower the opacity a bit, so it's not uh, as vibrant. Let's see how this looks. Also, you can mess around more with the mutation. If you feel that the colors change too fast, you can just lower the amount that you put on the mutation. Like, I'll put it on two. See how this looks. In my opinion, that looks really nice. Uh, you go like with more songs, but it really depends on the song you're using if you want to use this effect. On top of BCC Mix Colors, you can add the uh, BCC Light Leaks. It's a pretty good effect to use on the source as well. So I'll just drag it in, and uh, you guys can copy the setting that I have uh, here. And then what I would usually do is uh, animate the opacity. Go around here, put on, uh, put on zero. Yeah, let's see how this looks. In my opinion, this looks really nice. I feel it really nice the song as well. And the last effect that I'm going to go over is called RSMB. If you guys don't use RSMB, you're missing out. What RSMB does is you drag it, you want to drag it on the whole edit, so you drag it on the composition, whatever you call this. And you can guys copy my settings. So what RSMB does, it adds blur on every single frame of your edit, or the part that you want to show the blur. It makes it look really, really smooth. I'll guys show you an example on how it would look on this. Alright, so let's see how it looks. It really adds some smoothness on the edit, and when he spins, you guys can see the blur. It makes it very nice. And remember, when you add RSMB, your render time will be much, much longer, because it has to do that for every frame. This is going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe uh, if you haven't already. Tell me what you guys want to see in the next tutorial in the comments down below. And also use code SDX in the item shop. Peace out, boys. Picture yourself in a room